Peter Mayer. And I'm Harry Stitt. And this is our sculpture, Mirage. We're students at the University of Sydney. We're both in second year studying architecture and civil engineering. And we heard of the Sculpture by the Sea project from some older students who sort of got us involved and got us working with the project. And we just thought it would be a great opportunity not to only uh, use our skills to create proposals of things, but to actually make something that people could interact with, something playful that would uh, bring joy to people. We sort of started thinking about how you could make someone occupy a point in space. And the idea just sort of came about if you had an object and you split it into pieces, people would want to align themselves to be able to make them form into the uh, original object. And so uh, in doing that, we uh, thought we could have a point in space that everyone would try to occupy and try to find. And uh, so that was kind of the first, the basis of starting the project. And then we had to decide what sort of shape we were going to use. And that was something that uh, we discussed quite a bit together. Yeah, so the idea to create something three dimensional was that you wouldn't have a singular image, but rather a series of constructions that come into phase and out of phase. So you're beginning to break down the shape, which is, as it happens, a perspective cube. And then you give people the opportunity to recompose it as they see fit from a particular point on the sand. But also in the title, Mirage, uh, that sort of came about us thinking through the concept a little bit more. So we're situated on a beach and uh, that sort of got me thinking about deserts and what is real and what is not real because is this really a cube or is this not a cube? Is this individual pieces? What is it? And uh, a mirage is sort of like that. It isn't real but it's something that you perceive in the mind where you, um, when you are sort of desperate for some, <laughs> some sort of food or water when you're in the desert. And so on the beach it's quite a poignant place to have this sculpture. And and uh, we're giving people an object that could be something, but only if you get into the right position. And it's about the search for something, the search for perfection, and um, a perfection that can't ever really be found. This side is the one we um, picture people viewing it from predominantly, and uh, looking out to the sea, getting right down into the sand, lying down in the sand, and just experimenting with um, where they can see it best from. Yeah, the best point is about maybe five metres from the first piece and right at the sand level. Mm -hmm. but I sort of, it's really up to you how you try and compose the shape. And you can also view it from um, just sort of crouching down, but getting onto the sand, getting in touch with the beach is the best way to view it. And uh, it's really great taking photos of people who are standing in there, jumping around and sort of wondering what point in the cube they're occupying. Are they at the front? Are they in the middle? Are they behind everything? Uh, it, it, um, it, it's a question that you ask when you take photos of things. It's such an honour to be able to be included in this exhibition. It's um, renowned through many parts of the world. Everyone in Sydney loves coming down here and to be able to show this artwork to so many people is yeah, such a privilege for us. Mm. And everyone's been so supportive along the entire process. They, they took a risk on us going yeah. with the students and we're so grateful that yeah, they took that risk and let us, let us build this. And it's just amazing seeing it. Um, Seeing it here, man.